All right, guys, what's up? This is going to be the install for uh, the Light Custom Firmware 6.60 ME 1.6. So uh, I will have the download link for the permanent custom firmware and also a little annotation will pop up on the side of the video um, saying where to install to go to install the um, the uh, permanent custom firmware for PSP 1000 and 2000 models. This is a video for the PSP 2000 version 2, 3000, and PSP Go models. So uh, I'm going to be installing this ME 1.6 today. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much how you do it. So um, you can see I'm running 6.60 God 3. Uh, this is a PSP Go. If you look down in the right hand corner there, you will see my PSP Go right here. This beautiful little thing. Um, so I'm just going to pop this out. I do have CXMB running on this right now, so that's pretty cool too. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is just establish the USB connection here. And uh, pop that in nice like that. And uh, let's get going. So basically what I want you to do is go to computer and you're going to locate your removable disk for your PSP and uh, leave it at that. So you can see it right there. Um, take the release 660LME, which is light. ME custom firmware 1.6 and double click on that and open it up. If you don't have an extraction program, just right click on it and say extract to your desktop. After you extract the files or open them, you should see the release 660LME. Double click on that folder and open it up. You're going to see a PSP folder and an LEDA folder. Inside the PSP, you're going to see game and the launcher and installer. So, uh, what you're going to do first is this um, take the LEDA folder. And you're going to go on your PSP and go to your SC Plugins folder. And you're going to see the LE um, and just leave it right there. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to open the LEDA folder and take the LEDA PRX and drag and drop that into your PSP game folder. Or your PSP, the, the SC Plugins folder on your PSP memory stick or HDD root. Um, so if you have one in there already, move and replace it. If not, then that's fine. Now inside the game text document, if you're uh, using a PSP Go and the internal storage, you're going to use uh, this right here, um, the EF0 colon slash SE plugins LEDA dot PRX space one. If you're using the memory stick or a PSP 3000 or 2000 version two with a memory stick, you're going to write MS0 colon slash SE plugins. So once you write that in there, the se plugin slash leda dot prx space one set to the right directory, whether it be ms0 or ef0, exit and save that, and go back to the PSP root and go to the PSP folder and the game folder. Now any other updater tools that you may have on there, you may want to get rid of them, you may not want to get rid of them, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, what you're going to do now is go to the PSP folder in the extracted files and go to the game folder and you're going to see the launcher and installer. So basically what we're going to do right here is drag and drop the launcher and installer folders to the PSP game folder and leave it at that. So the extracted files are fine now so you can exit those. Now one quick little thing you may have noticed that I had the Pro XMB control installed on my PSP. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take um, in the SC plugins, uh, it's either going to crash or it either might, but just in case, just to be on the safe side, you want to take uh, the XMB control and in the VSH, first thing what you want to do is uh, delete the EF0 SC plugins XMB control slash XMB control dot PRX space one, get rid of that exit and save that because we have it set for pro or god um, so save that and then the XMB control folder just delete that and uh, what you're going to want to do if you have the XMB control um, you're going to want to reinstall it as for ME if you're updating from pro or god um, but if you're already on an ME custom firmware and you're updating to a light ME custom firmware again and you have the ME XMB control installed you don't have to worry about this but I'm just showing how to do this step just to show how it's done um, so I'm gonna go over here to my PSP and my SC plugins and let's go down to the bottom here to XMB control open that up 
And I'm just going to go back here to my PSP game folder and game folder and pop in the XMB control like so, so I can install it correctly. So uh, now that that's all said and done, I'm going to exit all of this stuff and come back to my remote joy so I can show you what I'm doing. So let me just uh, reset the VSH real quick on this. I'm going to make this remote joy a little bit bigger for you guys and drag it to the center and pop this USB in. All right, so now we're looking at the PSP, and uh, you can see that my uh, X and B control settings are gone, and we're ready to rock and roll. So let's go over to the game section, and you're going to see the LME installer for 6.60, and you're going to see the launcher. So what you're going to do is install the LME first. So run the installer. So I'm just going to unplug that until the game boots. So I can show you what the hell's going on with this shit. Why does it not work for fucking game anymore? Oh, that's why. Okay, anyways. Um... Light Custom Firmware 6.60 Installer by Neuron. So press X to install the modules. So hit X to install the modules and it's going to do all this flashing shit. It's going to reboot in 6 seconds. Okay, so now that we're here, you will see that you're still on your custom firmware that you were on before. So, just to prove to you guys here, doo -doo -doo, we're still on God 3. Now what you're going to do is go over to the game section, and you're going to run the LME launcher for 6.60. So, run the launcher. And now we wait, blah, blah, blah. It's just going to say Model 5G exiting. That's all it's going to say. It's going to do everything automatically. No button clicking, no nothing. And of course my remote joy is not going to work. So you can go fuck yourself. And I'll just open up a new one. Fucking faulty dick shit. Okay. Take two. There we are. So now if we come over to the system settings and the system information, you will see that I'm running 6.60 LME 1.6 for my custom firmware. And uh, now it's time to install my XMB control for the correct um, custom firmware. So I'm going to boot that up. This game boot takes forever to load, but I like it. It's better than just doing. Hey, look, a PSP sign. So, now seeing that I'm on ME custom firmware, see the Pro is for God custom firmware because God is built off of Pro and it has pretty much the same settings. You can use it on that. Um, so Pro and God is used with Pro, um, but for ME, you want to install the proper ME. So I'm going to install, it's going to say done, and I'm just going to hit exit here. I'm going to come back to the XMB. Now you're going to notice that on your PSP Go, it's not there. So this is what you got to do. You got to go to your USB connection, right? So let's go into USB mode, blah, 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 all that fun shit. No, I don't care. And I'm just going to come over here real quick and do this real fast because I don't want to waste your time. But you're going to go to your SE plugins, you're going to see XMB controller, you're going to see all that fun shit right there, right? Well, if you go to your VSH text document, you're going to see that it's uh, written in there automatically, but it's MS0. 
Uh, if you don't have a memory stick in your PSP Go, it's automatically going to say that, but just change it to EF0 and exit and save that. And then what you're going to do is exit and save that, and then take it out of USB mode. And let me just reset the flash or reset the VSH real quick. And I'll show you that it works fine. So if your XMB control app, if, if you do have it and you had like Pro or you had to reinstall it or some shit like that, come on! I hate this thing. Why do you gotta be fucking homo? <laughs> and it just crashed. That's fucking gay. Alright. Come on. Sony Computer Entertainment, blah, blah, blah. If it crashes, that's all you gotta do. Open it up. Run the launcher. See? Gay. That's a, that's a retarded game boot. I do not like it. Launcher is just going to run because it's signed for official firmware. It's going to say model 5G exiting. Boom. Done. That's all you got to do. If your system ever crashes, just run the launcher again. So you don't even have to keep the installer on your PSP Go. You just got to pretty much run the launcher and you'll be fine. Are you fucking serious? Wow. It won't even boot. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to be using 1.6 on my PSP Go, but just in case you want to, don't install XMB Control because it makes it crash. So I just solved the problem for you guys. The PSP will not brick. Um, but yeah, that's pretty fucking gay. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to God Three custom firmware. But if you guys really want to install it, go ahead. So uh, this is how you install 1.6, uh, 6.60 ME 1.6 light custom firmware on PSP 2000 version 2, 3000, and PSP Go models. Uh, but the XMB control makes it crash, so yeah. Fuck that. I'm going back to God 3, so uh, take it easy, guys. Enjoy your new custom firmware. Don't use the XMB control on it for the ME settings because it will crash it, as we just found out. So yeah, I'm going to try and figure out how to fix that and put a video up. But uh, apparently, it doesn't work, so... Uh, yeah, just stay away from the XMB control and you'll be fine. Uh, but other than that, take it easy. I'll be coming out with more videos. So you install it. The download links will be below, as well as the permanent custom firmware and the annotation at the beginning of the video. So, check it out. See you guys later.